Good morning, Mopar people. We're here in my kitchen in the galley of the camper here, and we're fixing to make uh, Ed's famous uh, breakfast burritos. Only famous, of course, because I say it is. I've got a pound of uh, black Angus beef. A friend of mine, him and his brother, for, <coughs> my friend of theirs raised a uh, cow and uh, they had a butcher and he gave me uh, some of the ground beef and uh, so this is uh, ground beef over here and I've got uh, some J.C. Potter sausage, about a third of a pound and uh, we're going to brown this up and uh, it smells so good this morning. Nothing like this. Uh, of course, we're camping in a trailer, I know, but there's nothing like ball camping. This is the day after the No Name Nationals. Uh, breakfast burritos. <laughs> It's always a good thing to fix, especially if you have a group of people. Okay. Try to get organized here. Of course, you got to have onion. Okay, just not a, doesn't have to be a real fine chop. We're gonna wanna sweat this into our uh, meat mixture. If you ever run across this, they're not paying me to say this, this real salt, this is totally legit. I think you can find it on Amazon. It's really good. It's got colloidal minerals in there. Great product. The food really tastes good. Get our seasoning in there. This is just some uh, garlic powder. Oh.
sometimes I, I mix up, um, I want to use this package of ground beef, uh, but sometimes I'll mix it half and half or oh, two thirds uh, to one third. I like it kind of meaty and hearty. Uh, you can make this. We're, we're going to have eggs in ours today. You can make it. Um, we kind of uh, kind of like it meaty and hearty, and uh, it's a uh, great high protein uh, breakfast. Uh, it's minimizes uh, carbs when you. Uh, and you can just have one of these and you can just, if, even if you miss lunch, you can just run on it all day. It's very tasty. I don't know if you ever go out and you... ever get burritos or you ever get tacos and you wonder where all the meat is. Uh, I personally don't like that. I like to uh, I want to know where the meat's at. Be right back. shells in here this morning. I think I'll use about four eggs today. Okay, get a fork or uh, whisk, whatever you prefer, and I, I use a fork. I've already kind of seasoned my meat, so I'll kind of season my egg mixture. Uh, kind of quote uh, Emerald Lagasse, you know, you got to season throughout the process. It uh, changes the dimension of the food and gives it a, a different flavor profile.
You can see our ground beef's looking pretty good and our sausage smells really good. And we still got a little pink in there. We'll brown it up nice. I, I kind of like the browning and the, especially in the cast iron skillet. Uh, really get nice and brown. Really caramelize those onions, the meat. We can use just a tinge more salt. Of course, got to have black pepper. Get a secret weapon here chipotle roasted garlic. Got to have a little chipotle in there. Oh, I wish you could smell this, people. Oh, wow. You can't get this. You can't go out and buy this. All fresh ingredients. Tasty. Now, I we're, we spoil our dogs, so don't judge me, but we uh, feed our dogs. Uh, People food. So I'll take out about a no onion, so not for the dogs. I kind of pick this out selectively, and if we see an onion, we'll pick it off and eat it. Yeah, it's about the size of a hamburger patty. That'd be a good serving. We for our two uh, poodles. Diesel and Sierra Sky. That yeah, looks really good. So we're gonna re-whisk our. We had a little separation of our eggs. We're gonna re-whisk them. We're gonna put them in there. Okay, just uh, cooking the uh, eggs and sometimes they get a little sloppy. Um, the beef's already hot, so it's kind of cooking the eggs. So cook them slow, uh, you know, low to medium heat at the most. Okay, we're gonna pick up some things. I'm going to cut us some more onion. I like a little fresh onion, adds a little texture, another dimension of flavor. I don't have any uh, peppers with me today. Uh, I like some jalapenos. I, I forgot to bring bring some. and uh, I like bell peppers in it also. You can use whatever you have. If you have some uh, Anaheim's or Pablamo. I may not say that right, but so we got a little nice chopped. We'll bag up our rest of our onion. Save it. For another recipe. Okay, I've got my dog's food. We've got some uh, cheese here. I just picked this up from uh, Brahms. Brahms is a, a great store here in Arkansas and Oklahoma. Nice uh, family farm business. So I go in there, I get a bag full of groceries. It's easy and convenient. A little bit faster than going to the uh, Walmart or neighborhood market. Okay, let's see how our eggs are doing. Okay, we're back. Let's 
Let's check this out. Okay. Yeah, it's sticking a little bit, but it, it'll be okay. I, uh, I really enjoy to cook. I like making a good meal. I like putting uh, smiles on people's faces, cooking for them. And I, uh, I like simple things. I like good flavor profiles. Nothing extravagant. The entire mixture is coming together nice. The uh, eggs really kind of help bind and tie the beef and sausage together. Really makes for a nice filling. And this will keep for a day or two in the fridge. You can make this up, so if you want to make up some ahead of time and you want to have a breakfast burrito on the way to work, you can do this. Uh, and uh, mm, wow, that's tasty. I'll be back. Okay, I don't have my griddle with me. A lot of times I have the oven on, but all it takes to warm up a flour tortilla is just a, a little heat. My uh, stove top's clean. Uh, just a little fire under your tortilla. If it sticks a little bit to the grill, I can clean that off later. And start feeling. I, I like uh, warmed up hot tortillas. Softens them up. We'll leave them on or too long. You can always flip it. You can always come back. Yeah, we've got a little color coming on our tortilla. It's starting to get to where I can't lay my hand on it. Oh, I tasted that meat one more time of sampling. And what sacrilege, and it's embarrassing, uh, I, in leaving the house, I forgot my salsa. Salsa is uh, a must, or I like Cholula, is a great little hot sauce. But you can use whatever you like. Put that on a plate. Look at that, people. That's meaty, hearty. Put a little uh, fresh dice onion. Don't forget about your tortillas. This is nice and hot, so when this gets folded up, our cheese will be melting. sides in. That's how I do it. I'm not saying it's right. Tuck your fingers in. Other sides in. And there you have it. Perfect burrito. Nice and hot and fresh. <laughs> Got a little hot but that's okay. Uh, I'm good with that. I like cooking for my family. 
I enjoy it. It's kind of like my hobby away from the shop. Okay, we can turn our stove off. Go down. Gotta have some fresh onion. Let's have just a switch more salt and pepper. Okay. Roll it back once, pull everything back to you, fold your sides in, tuck it tight. Okay, there you go. Fresh breakfast burrito. Good morning, I'm Ed, I'm your host. This is uh, Camping with the Matlocks and uh, uh, Breakfast with Ed. First time doing this on camera, hope you guys like it, it's simple to do. Uh, families like this, kids like this, it's a good way to feed an army. You can make everything in a skillet, you can use paper plates and there's no dishes to wash. And uh, if you wanna pre-make them, you can roll them up in uh, foil, they stay hot for quite a while. So, happy Sunday, everyone. God bless. Bye. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's a hearty burrito. It's got all your meat, protein, very tasty. The chipotle is coming through. Got a nice, subtle heat to it. Um, very tasty. Thank you.